Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a haul video for you guys today. This stuff is from accumulation of several garage sales. This is like four weeks worth of garage sale stuff that I have in my room with me. Um, it's all just sort of been sitting in my Poshmark room and in the living room and I need to make space and get it listed so I can make a little money off of it. Um, but there is a lot of it. And also in my Poshmark room, there is a bunch of stuff from the bins. Me and chat, me and Chad have been going about every weekend just for fun, something to do. And I have a lot of stuff from the bins. So I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. And to make it go faster, I have my phone. I have 15 minutes set. So I'm gonna film for 15 minutes. And once this goes off, I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna start up a new one so that these are a little bit more watchable lengths. And that way we have more videos to watch throughout the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with garage sale stuff. And here we go, 15 minutes on the clock. So the first thing I picked up, and this is in no particular order, this is probably the most recent one. Second most recent one, doesn't matter. See, I'm long-winded. Um, but these are a pair of Red Wing boots. Um, I always have very good luck with Red Wing. And these ones are a black moto boot with the zip. They are a men's size 10. Really cool, I wish they were my size, I would wear them. And it has like that detail right there. So very cool, I paid $10 for those. Next is another pair of Red Wing boots. These ones I like even more, they are a brown leather. They have the detail lace up, I really like that. Um, these are a size, I believe these are also 10. 10 or 11, no these are US men's size nine. So a little smaller, but still not my size. Really cute, I paid 10 bucks for them. So sweet, I will probably list them around 100. I don't know, I'll have to comp them, but right now I'm guessing I'll list them for 100. Um, next, I believe I paid $1 for these. And they are a pair of vintage Guess denim overalls. And I think they're men's because the zipper like there's an actual zipper on it and I don't know why a woman would need a zipper right there. Um, but they are really cute. They are light wash. Uh, yeah, just a pair of really good, sturdy, rigid denim overalls. Let me see if I can find the tag. Yeah, there's the vintage guest tag right there. Did I say a size? I don't think I told you a size. They're a men's size large. Are they? They seem kind of small for a large, but I mean, guys could have been a little smaller back in the day. Um, next is something that is totally out of my realm of purchasing to resell. Sometimes I pick up stuff that's non-clothing or accessory like related and uh, I do that and then sometimes I don't know what to do with it because I'm a clothing reseller, but I couldn't pass this up. This right here is a Mountain Hardware, which is a brand of clothing I pick up all of the time. But this one is a tent. Um, the lady at the garage sale said all of the pieces were here and it's in really good condition. She just doesn't use it anymore. Um, yeah, so I Googled these to see how much they were worth. Um, either way, I was gonna pick it up even if I kept it for myself because it was only $10 for a mountain hardware tent. Comps on these go anywhere from $100 to $1,200. Now I know this one's not gonna be the $1,200 tent. It's way too small, like it's not that big. Um, so the comps were, like I said, a hundred to like $500 for the two people type tents, like the smaller ones. Um, yeah, I think it'll be okay. I was a little worried about how I was going to ship it because I didn't know if I was going to put it in a box, but I do have poly mailers. I showed them to you in my clean with me video and I have, if I use two poly mailers and put them on each side, I think it would be perfectly fine. So I don't think shipping will be that big of a problem. Um, next, this one was pretty cool. I paid $5 for it. And it's this vintage Columbia winter jacket. Super, super thick. I love the colors. It's like that vintage teal and purple. And it's reversible. So let me flip her around. I think I prefer the black side. There's more color blocking. And I feel like that's more popular and what people are looking for. And I'm going to try to stop talking as I do it because it's probably noisy. There we go. Okay, so here's the other side of it. 
So just a lot of color blocking. Um, it did have some dirt. I don't know that it was stains. It just looks like dirt. So I will wash that. And this is a men's size extra large. Uh, this next one is for Chad. I paid $2. And this is for putting... It has snap buttons, hook and loop, hook hook and loop, hook and eye closures. He sews, so I figured he could use this. It even has the little machine for the snap buttons. And for only two bucks, like that's a really good deal for all the parts I got. Next, oh my gosh, this was the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's, um, <laughs> it's a grocery bag holder like you put your groceries in there the lady i bought it from was having an estate sale and it was hanging up in her kitchen and i saw it and i was like oh my gosh that's so cute and she's like oh thanks my children call her chicken butt because you pulled the bags essentially out of her butt that's her dress but chicken butt which i thought was even cuter look at her little eyelashes um but yeah it was was it two dollars one dollar i think it was one dollar i paid for her um, which I don't have grocery bags anymore because they are like outlawed in Colorado. But I know my mom has been hoarding some, so I'm going to borrow some to stuff her and then I'll hang it in my kitchen because it's super cute. Um, let's see, next, I already forgot the stuff that I bought. This is the brand Capacity Woman, size 3X. I paid $1 for it, that's the brand. And it's just this vintage denim or chambray shirt long sleeve and it has a bunch of really pretty embroidery on it so i bought that to resell that is my style but i shall not keep it i don't need it this one is just my size denim 100 percent cotton what size are you women's 22 24 and again it's a denim button-up shirt this lady had a bunch of them and this one has a little bit of embroidery at the bottom it's like a little fall scene. Really cute. I think these will do good. I don't know. I'm going to list them probably around 30 and hopefully I'll get around 20, 25 for them. Next, this was a really good deal. This is a Carhartt. Um, the size has been cut out of it, but I can always just go by measurements. It's a soft shell jacket, fleece lined, and it was $1 for a Carhartt jacket, which I thought was super crazy. It is dirty. I don't know if it'll show up in this lighting. I'm in my bedroom right now doing this. Can we see the stains? Oh yeah, like all of that is dirtiness. <laughs> um, it feels thicker on there. So I'm not sure. We'll see if it comes out clean. I'm sure it will. It feels, I mean, it's thick, but it feels very surfacey. One dollar for Carhartt though. That's cheaper than the bins. I'm actually going a lot faster than I thought I was, so I might get most of this done in one video. Um, next is a rolling pin. I paid $1.50 for it. Uh, I've been baking a lot lately, and I could use a real rolling pin. Mine's like this weird little handheld one, and your dough comes out really uneven. That's the end of that story. <laughs> uh, next, this is by Jane Ashley. It's another vintage denim piece size large and this one is actually a dress but it does have the embroidery detail like this little old lady her garage sale like that's where i got all the denim from like i could totally tell this was her style and that she really likes her embroidered denim um next actually i got this from the little old lady that had the embroidered stuff this one was a little different than what I was expecting, but I was very happy to find this. I'm not sure what size it is. Large. It's a unisex large, and it's this band t-shirt, and the band is AFI, and there's a picture of like a fly on there, but this is a band that Chad used to listen to when we were in high school, so back in 2000, I don't know, 2004 maybe? I just thought it was funny that she had that shirt. She has all this like nice old lady things and then AFI. I'll put a picture of the lead singer just so you can see how funny it is that she had this shirt. Next, I got this blanket for $2. The guy said he bought it in Mexico and it was like handmade. Um, oh, 
It's not a blanket. At first I thought it had a hole in it, which I was okay with because I was just going to put it in my camper van. Not a, a hole. It's actually a, it's like a poncho. This is like a real poncho. This is like authentic poncho. Anyway, it's made out of wool. So that's why I got it for the van, but I'll still put it in the van anyway. I kind of like that it's wearable. I don't know, just in case of an emergency, you're supposed to, uh, warm back up with wool. It's a very warm, water resistant material. Anyway, you don't need to know any of that. Uh, let's see, I'll go through this bag of clothes. Right here. So we'll get through some of this stuff. We're down to four minutes. I can do it. <laughs> um, next, this one was really cool. I paid two bucks for it. And you can see the collar. There's all these cats playing with yarn and with fish and then like the body of it is a bunch of little yarn balls and then on the cuffs it has more cats and I was gonna get it anyway because it's so stinking cute but then I saw the brand and I was very surprised it is this vintage Orvis shirt women's size extra large and it's in like mint condition really really cute um the guy whose garage sale it was at he was probably like in his 40s, this kind of like tattooed looking guy, like a manly looking guy. And there was a ton of cat stuff there, like cat clothing, cat blankets, little knickknacks of cats, um, just a bunch of cat stuff. So when I was checking out, I was like, so you collect cat stuff? And he like looked at me like I was crazy. It wasn't his stuff, but he was the one running it. So I figured it was his cat collection. Guys can like cats too. Anyway, I thought it was funny that that tattooed guy had all the cat stuff. Um, this one is the brand T Plus and it's this vintage made in the USA, size extra large. And this is called a Ringer t-shirt and it says the referee. I'm not sure if somebody who was a referee wore this or if it's talking about a TV show. I don't know, but I thought that would do good. Uh, this one is a size extra large. Another vintage shirt. This one is a Florida shirt. Um, nothing too special, it's just Florida. <laughs> but I picked that up to resell. Um, I picked this up for myself. It was $1. It's a wooden spoon. It's Pampered Chef, so I thought that was a good deal. And I love using wooden spoons when I cook. Next, I paid $1 for this and it is the brand Prana. This is one of my bread and butter brands and it's like this tube top dress and it's got like the sexy little little v-neck notch. Um, but yeah, that's pretty simple little dress. Not bad for $1. Um, next, I didn't realize this brand made dresses. I think we've all seen the Miss Me jeans. Can we see that? Boop miss me it's hard to see that one and this is a size mm, size small but it's this really cute florally spaghetti strap dress it reminds me of the 90s and what like the popular girls would wear next is another miss me one this one you can see the tag a little better it's a darker this one's a size medium and this one again is just a little spaghetti strap dress but this one has the back where you can tie it up like a corset so really cute really simple but really cute these next items are for me they were 50 cents each and they're just these bandanas i got an orange one for when we go out during hunting season and then I have kind of more of a traditional color. And then these ones I just thought were really pretty. I got like a little pastel purple one. And then this like olive army green one. So really cute. And my timer's about to go off. So we're going to stop this video right here. Actually, I'm going to pause it now so it doesn't scare the crap out of me. Okay, that was everything from these garage sales. I still have one more garage sale video coming and a handful of haul videos coming. Um, if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. I'm like 27 people away from hitting the 1000 mark. So feel free to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And yeah, that's everything for this video and I will see you guys very shortly in the next one. Bye.